Hello everybody. Well, for part two of the rotary compressor teardown and cleanup, we're going to uh, rebuild the pump today. As you can see, there's a little bit of rust on it, so I'm going to need to clean that up. Um, I've got most of the oil and the water off by wrapping it in a rag and then soaking it in our mineral terps. That's just a bit of the re residual stuff that was on it, but as you can see, there's... It's a lot different to the colour it started off as. It was clear, but um, anyway, what I'll do first is get the spring off and take this bottom housing off, and also this baffle plate here, if I can actually get it off, and uh, have a look and see what condition the road is in, because it's still locked pretty solid, unfortunately. You can see there's the seal there, it's just sticking out. Well, there we have it. There's the uh, end plate off, and it's a bit of a um, mixture of also it wearing down to the copper and also copper residue from the um, me cutting it. It's actually gotten down and a lot of that in there is not wear, it's just uh, shavings from the angle grinder. But uh, I was able to get the um, incentric out. That's what your key looks like. Very hard piece of uh, steel. But that's, uh, that's not worn at all, there's a little bit of rust on it which will probably brush off okay. I can get this rotor out. There we go. That's uh, that's also hardened steel as well. You can see there's a little bit of a uh, stain on it, but it's worn down to co copper on the uh, the edges. But other than that, it's uh, it's all right. There's a few marks on it, but that's um, that's not too bad. The uh, yeah, bearings is bearing is a little bit noisy. I'll have to uh, clean that out, but. The important thing at the moment is to um, get it off and clean out, clean it up as best as possible. Get the uh, a lot of this rust and crap off of it. But, uh, well, there's the uh, rotor housing off. It took a bit of work. I actually had to cut the um, that metal plate that was around it that uh, protected the reed valve and everything, which is actually there. If you can see that, it's got a little bit of rust on it as well. But um. <coughs> Motor bearings all right. You can uh, turn them over, and there's uh, no noise coming from them, which is good. Um, there is a bit of a play in it, which is probably expected for a rotary. I'm guessing it would all be taken up by the bearing on the other end. But um, that's actually come up all right. There's a few little wear points on it, as you can see there. There's a uh, yeah, there's another one in there. There's definitely a lot of wear in the uh, the keyway. As you can clearly see on its bottom end. It's, um, I'm guessing for the time that probably was in an air conditioner. It's been worked pretty hard. Because there's uh, a lot of wear on it. Especially on uh, down this outer edge here. From where the, uh, the rotor may have even started to uh, move at one point. But that just sits on like that. And as you can turn it over. You can sort of get the idea. It will oscillate sort of thing. Just in a... Um, in the incentric, it's a very nicely made bit of kit, very hard as well. I'm guessing it's probably, possibly tool steel, if not high carbon. It's um, yeah, very hard stuff. But, uh, what I'm going to do now is, that's going to have a uh, treatment with the wire wheel to get rid of a lot of that surface rust off, because thankfully it is surface rust. And then uh, the rotor, the maybe even that if I can fit it in, but I'm just going to put it all in here. Fill it up with um, mineral terps and just leave it soaking for a bit. And then once I'll uh, take it out, I'll clean it um, up again, get all the terps off and any remaining uh, residue, uh, copper shavings, filings, whatnot, and uh, get some compressor oil onto it. I've got some uh, proper air compressor oil here, which should do fine for it. It's um, not hygroscopic, which is the important thing, and that should uh. That should protect it just nicely for uh, what I'm going to use it for. There's the, uh, the metal spring on it. Some of them actually have a little cylinder coil spring up inside the uh, housing there, but this one's just relies on a bit of, I suppose you'd probably call that a leaf spring. It sort of qualifies as it, but that just keeps tension on the, uh, on the incentric and stops the rotor jumping around and chattering. Duh. Anyway, onwards and upwards, get all of that into that oil can, which, well, it was an oil can, it's now going to be a uh, soaking tank. 
and uh, clean it up. Pump housing. If I can get around the right way. Drop the rotary next. Always make sure you have plenty of oil on something like this because there is a lot of uh, metal to metal contact. And that just drops in like so. Oops. You may need to adjust that dial. Pump housing a bit. Basically, that's what it does, except the uh, key rubbing up against it, which I'll uh, drop in next. Well, not the key, sorry, the seal. Shuts it there. Oh, still in focus? Yep, good. And that just drops in like so. Presses up against the rotor. Put the uh, spring on next. I can't remember which way around it went. I think it was like that. There we go. Apologies about the last bit. The camera decided to flatten its battery before I was able to finish that sentence. But, uh, before I put the cover on, I figured I'll... Uh, set it up in a vise and actually show you what the movement looks like properly without it shaking around in my hand is basically all it's doing when it's uh, running it's drawing gas in through the uh, suction side winding it round and then compressing it up against the seal and out through the red valve which is at the back there's really not much to these in terms of moving parts Yeah, I've just got a socket jammed on the end of the uh, motor rotor, just so I can crank it over easily. I don't know where the noise is coming from, probably the uh, oiling in it. There's a uh, probably a little spiral baffle up inside that uh, tube there, which that's what the uh, oil pump is. You can see there's little holes in it. There's one inside on the uh, the inside of the rotor face, and there's another one on the uh, the motor bearing. And that, as it uh, rotates around, it's drawing oil up through that tube and depositing it, depositing it to all of the uh, the bearings. They're a really neat little device. Yeah, like I said before, that spring is just keeping tension on the uh, the vein, stopping it chattering. Doesn't matter how fast you turn it up. Well, let's that one back together. There's nothing wrong with it, it's working fine. The bearings are definitely quiet now that they've got uh, fresh oil on them. This thing should last a uh, decent amount of time, hopefully. And, uh... When I get time at uh, school, I'll take this in and part it on the lathe and uh, do another video, show you what's inside these. It's not a lot, but it um, they're very crucial to have on a HVAC system because they're what uh, protect against slugging and also uh, contaminants getting into the compressor 